Hi guys, it is a hot, miserable summer day here outside of Boston, Massachusetts on Monday, August 27, 2018, where we're heading upwards towards 100 degrees this week. Uh, well, anyway, I am uh, doing what I do with my life in the hot sun, and I just finished a, a fine interview um, with climatologist Peter Wadhams. Now, when I say I, depending on what channel you're listening to right now, I mean Sam Mitchell from Collapse Chronicles just finished a, uh, an, an hour-long interview with climatologist Peter Wadhams, which will be broadcast on Collapse Chronicles coming up on Sunday this coming up Sunday, whatever that is, September 2nd, 2018. So I hope you have a chance to catch the full interview, but I just want to give you a couple of minute taste of, of Peter. Uh, late into the interview, we've, we've already gone through the Blue Ocean event and the methane bomb is what most of the interview. And here at minute 42, we're talking about uh, Peter Wadham's views of global population over the balance of this century and the near-term human extinction movement and whatnot. So this is a small taste. Take it away, Peter Wadham's. So the, 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 the population of the planet, now we, we have everyone from, uh, the, I think, the UN, what are they saying now, 11 billion by 2100, to the near-term human extinction camp saying a population of zero humans in the next 10 years. Where, where do you fall on the spectrum? What, what's the population of this planet going to be by 2100? Well, I, I think in theory it, it can reach 11 or 12 billion uh, in that if we, if we stopped if we, we stopped all animal husbandry and, and everybody became vegan and, and ate, ate only plant-based food, we, the, the, the world in, could possibly support that number of people. But even then it might not because of, of climate variability resulting in, in, in crop failures. Uh, but since when the world is not going to, to become vegan and... and uh, we're going to have crop failures. It's going. There's going to be massive famines that are going to make the famines of the past look like nothing. Uh, but these are going to, to, to very substantially reduce. The, it's going to reduce the rate of population growth. And some people are, are forecast well with that pressure population, especially in, in cities in poor countries like Africa you're going to start getting big epidemics. So the thing that may end up reducing the world population is some global epidemic, um, which we, we've, we've had frightening outbreaks of, of, of Ebola and, and uh, mad cow disease and so on. But the, the forecasts are that, that perhaps that in, in itself might be small, small potatoes compared to some major... Um, new virus coming out of Africa, spreading through the world. So uh, my forecast would be the population of the world will, will keep increasing. It won't get to, to 11 or 12 billion because famine will intervene. But what might intervene as well would be uh, disease. And so, as so long as we don't have a nuclear war or anything like that. So it might, it, the best we could hope for would be to try and that it flattens off painlessly somewhere around about where it is now, not far above where it is now, then then we could cope. But um, uh, there are lots of possibilities for for really disastrous change. Yeah. So your your whole comment to the to the, the, the near term human extinction movement, you you do you're not of the camp that humans are going to be extinct on this planet by the year 2030. You don't buy into that. No, no, I, th I think that's, that's really greatly alarmist. That is really alarmist. I would, I would characterize that as being alarmist. 
speak against a, a former alarmist, I'd say that is very alarmist. And it won't happen unless we have a nuclear war. That, you know, that, that, if we, if that would be the end of everything. But, but with natural, natural and unnatural processes going on as they are at the moment, we're going to have a lot of serious troubles and problems, but, but I don't think we're going to become extinct. Okay. There you go. So uh, I do agree with uh, Peter Wadhams on that, that humans are not going to become extinct as much as some people on the planet wish they would become extinct. But anyway, that just gives you a small taste, and I hope you're able to tune in on Sunday, September 2nd, when we're going to bring you the full hour of our talk with Peter Wadhams. Come join us. Bye, guys.